he abideth faithful. Under the date January the 25th, 1842, Mr. Muller writes, Perhaps, dear reader, you have said in your heart before you have read thus far, how would it be, suppose the funds for the orphans were reduced to nothing, and those who are engaged in the work had nothing of their own to give, and a meal time were come, and you had no food for the children? Thus indeed it may be, for our hearts are desperately wicked. If ever we should be so left to ourselves, as that either we depend no more upon the living God, or that we regard iniquity in our hearts, then such a state of things, we have reason to believe, would occur. But so long as we shall be enabled to trust in the living God, and so long as, though falling short in every way of what we might be and ought to be, we are at least kept from living in sin, such a state of things cannot occur. Therefore, dear reader, if you yourself walk with God, and if on that account His glory is dear to you, I affectionately and earnestly entreat you to beseech Him to uphold us. For how awful would be the disgrace brought upon His holy name, if we, who have so publicly made our boast in Him, and have spoken well of Him, should be left to disgrace Him, either by unbelief in the hour of trial, or by a life of sin in other respects.'